I'm Von Hugh Stanton. It's time for another photo news brief. Nikon is releasing another firmware update for the Nikon Z9. This firmware update will give the camera in-RAW and ProRes RAW HQ. The Nikon Z9 natively can do ProRes 422 HQ at 10-bit 422 up to 4K 30p. But with the new firmware update, the camera can capture 12-bit RAW video. So what does this mean to the user? If you're a professional video editor, then you will understand all this jargon. Others, I will provide an explanation. Here are the key points of ProRes RAW. ProRes RAW applies the same principles of ProRes to the RAW camera image data. RAW video output preserves the deepest blacks to the brightest whites and every color in between from the image sensor. ProRes adjusts compression to hit a target data rate, the file size, while ProRes RAW adjusts the bit rate to hit a target quality. Target quality means the data rate will fluctuate but will minimize the chances of artifacting with busy scenes. By capturing RAW sensor data, more detail and dynamic range can be preserved for editing. With ProRes RAW, file sizes can be kept lower than conventional Kodaks while still offering improved dynamic range and detail. ProRes RAW HQ offers data rates between ProRes 422 HQ and ProRes 444. They're popular choices for high-end film productions and advanced visual effects work. Most video creators won't notice the difference between ProRes RAW and ProRes RAW HQ. The only difference is the level of compression. ProRes RAW is more compressed than HQ. If you're doing professional cinema work, then ProRes RAW HQ compression will give you a higher bit depth recording. If you have used ProRes Kodaks, then you know that they are just smoother to edit than H.264 or H.265. The video above was recorded in another Kodak, ProRes LT. But remind yourself, these files are larger than H.264 files. I know that it is a crash course in Kodaks, but this is a photo news brief. While I have your attention, please leave a comment below to help others interested in this content. This firmware upgrade is awesome for the Nikon Z9 because it helps validate the Nikon Z9 as a serious cinema camera. Having all these Kodaks baked into the camera gives creators more choices for their video production. If you're an owner of a Nikon Z6, Z62, Z7, or a Z72, then you know you have to send your camera back to Nikon to upgrade your camera to ProRes RAW or Blackmagic RAW for $199.95 plus shipping. Most users of these Kodaks use an external recorder like the Atmos Ninja 5 or the Black Magic recorder. And for all others that want more information about ProRes, the link is in the description. Please subscribe and hit that bell and watch my other videos and thank you for watching.